<laughs> Meet Donna, a longtime horse owner who still deals with horse problems more often than not. Hi, Donna. This wasn't your dream. Dealing with problems instead of enjoying the time spent with your horse, building a stronger relationship, and becoming a confident leader? You had the horse owner's dream. You were going to have a consistently willing, light, respectful, and happy partner. Mr. Trainer says that takes more time, and I just don't have a lot of time. Well, I've got a ton of time. Mr. Trainer said all I have to do is follow steps one, two, three, but when I do, it doesn't work the same for me. <laughs> Who are you again? Well, actually, Mr. Trainer isn't wrong. Steps one, two, and three will work for you. You just have to have the right timing and approach. But sadly, most trainers don't teach you that. They only show you how to go through the motions. I'm gonna share with you something I wish I would've known 10 years ago. And if I would've known what I'm about to show you, it would've saved me and my horse a lot of time, headache, frustration, and discouragement. And just like you, even though I had worked with horses for all of that time, I finally realized that I was still lacking a certain key. I don't like any keys. Maybe you know what to do, but you're just not quite sure of how to do it. See, usually when we train our horses, here's what we do. We notice our horse may have gotten buddy sour, so we try to fix that problem. But then we notice that he's become spooky or inattentive, so we try to fix that problem. Maybe he bucks when he speeds up, so we seek a solution to try to fix that problem. But then we notice that this problem has come back, or maybe we have an entirely new problem over here that's just come up. So we keep nipping away at all these problems, and all the while, our horse never really seems to reach the full potential that he's capable of. We put into practice what we learned, and our horse responds a little bit different, but it's still not the end result we're really looking for. We may even have a really great day where we feel like everything's all coming together and our horse is really starting to get it. But the problem soon returns, or a new problem slowly begins to surface. And it's frustrating because we're just trying to enjoy time spent with our horse, build a stronger relationship, and have confidence in knowing that the work we're putting in isn't a waste of time. And then your hopes begin to die, along with your dreams. Now, I can sit here and clip on all these thorns until the end of time, but the truth is, the only thing that this bush is ever going to be able to produce is more thorns. I can water it, put fertilizer on it, give it just the right amount of sun and shade, but it will still always be a thorn bush. And that's what we try to do with our horses. We try to fix this problem and that problem, never really dealing with the root that's actually causing the problems. So if you ever want to get anything other than thorns, you've got to get rid of this bush and plant a new kind of bush. Now there's a new root that'll produce something totally different. But here's the catch. The bad root is never in the horse. Yeah. It's always in us. And the only way for you to have this new root is to rise to the horse's level instead of dragging him down to yours and learning how to use the right timing and the right approach to help him understand. It's not about following steps one, two, and three. The problems we see in our horses are just what's being revealed on the surface. The root of the problem lies in our lack of communication and leadership. You see, Donna, once we fix our leadership and communication, all of these problems will simply melt away. You'll know how the horse thinks, what makes him tick, and what makes him do what he does. The problem is never where we think it is. It's like treating the symptoms and never actually curing the disease. And once I made these discoveries, it was like finding buried treasure and all of the things that had been difficult suddenly became easy. Through all of those years of working for performance horse trainers and on those big ranches out west, I finally realized that horsemanship isn't about following a prescribed set of steps. I get asked all the time how it is that I can walk up to a horse with a problem and in about 10 minutes have the problem worked out. It's because I understand how to use these principles that I've explained to you today. That's the secret to successful horsemanship. And Donna, so can you. I've just wrote this book that's a collection of short stories from the ranches I've worked on, the trainers I've worked for, and the thousands of horses and horse owners that I've helped. Yeah, but how's this book gonna help me? Because it's gonna teach you the why and not just the how. It'll teach you to become a confident leader that your horse can respect and understand. And everything in this book has been proven to me time and time again by the horse that it's right and it always works. Because there's a lot of fluff gimmicks and half-truths out there that have veered away from what the great horsemen of the past knew and taught. But this book goes back to the authentic principles of real, simple horsemanship. This isn't a book of formulas that attempts to teach you steps one, two, and three. It gives you a front row seat to witness successful and effective horse training as it unfolds. You'll learn the secrets of what works, what doesn't, and why. It's so easy, my donkey could do it. If he wasn't blind.
Now you could just keep doing what you're doing and hope and pray that you figure it out, but that's not a guarantee and you could be wasting your time. And eventually you'll get discouraged again and you may never dig up those hopes and dreams. I'm so excited about this book. It gives you the opportunity to dive inside my mind and discover firsthand what's going through my head as I work with horses. If this book were any better at teaching horsemanship, it'd be Ray Hunt. And I'm so confident that if it doesn't drastically improve your leadership and your communication, you can send it back and get a full refund. So click the button below to get your copy of this book.